Hi, it's Fernando Batata at Tenzing. I'm here today with Stefano 3D from DB Decor uh, with us. And welcome. Thank Hello. you for being here. Oh, it's great to be here. I love Chicago, especially when it's cold. Yeah, well, it is today. <laughs> um, Stefano, can you tell us a little bit about Dimi? Yeah, I'd be happy to. Uh, Dimi is a uh, the simple explanation is that it's a uh, fruit flower uh, and uh, herbal infusion. The herbal infusion is an old recipe from the 20s and 30s back in Italy that was originally used for vermouth. Uh, so it has lots of herbs and botanicals and spices in it. So is it is it a wine base? It looks like a wine bottle. Is it or? No, it's a wine bottle intentionally because I like that design. It is. <coughs> and it's easy to handle uh, from a bartender's perspective. But uh, it's, uh, it's spirits based. It's an organic wheat grain spirit that I uh, hand select with an agrarian expert from. Uh, and then we distill it in Torino with a small family called the Frandino family. And then I take the base spirit to Milan and do the infusions there. So it's like, Milano is like its its place where it's, it's I, birth, I notice it's I see it a lot on, on the on the bottle recorded in it's Milan. The birth, it's the birthplace. Uh, the infusion. My partners in Dimi are the Speroni brothers. They're my brothers too. I'm one of their brothers. So there's really three of us: Torini and Speroni. But. Uh, <coughs> We do the infusions in Milan, uh, the herbal infusion and the fruit flower infusion. And uh, we bring the two infusions together with a little bit of nebbia low brown. And what, what is the uh, main flavor, would you say? Is, that, is it Well, there's, there's two. There's, it's, uh, it's finished with a little bit of organic beet sugar, just a little bit. It's about 2%. It's just a touch. And the grappa is only 2% as well, so it's a touch of that too. But, uh, the main driving flavor in it is. Uh, bitter side, the main driving flavor is that of absinthe. So, yeah. you know, so a little bit of the anise uh, flavor comes out. Licorice, vanilla, the licorice. Bar, bitter orange. How do you like to drink it? I drink it straight on the rocks. Well, chilled, uh, chilled or, yeah. and this is uh, delicious, of course, I enjoy it very much. But it's primary uh, uh, raison d'etre is cocktails. It mixes beautifully with brown and white spirits. We'll have some cocktails posted as well so you can uh, play around with Jimmy. I'm very happy to have you today, and thank you, and have a, a, a safe trip home. Thank you.